Welcome to our lecture online, and here we're going to draw the Lewis structure for ethanol. Of course, ethanol is an organic molecule, and some of you may already know that ethanol is also the alcohol that we find in our alcoholic beverages. Ethanol is also used in industrial processes as solvents, but it's the only alcohol form that we can actually consume, and lots of, it, lots of us consume quite a bit of that molecule. Now, uh, which is the molecule that you're not supposed to consume? Well, here we have ethanol with two carbons. If we have an alcohol with only one carbon, that we call that methanol, and that is part of the rubbing alcohol, and you're not supposed to consume that because it will either cause blindness or death. So if you're going to drink alcohol, make sure it's the ethanol variety, not the methanol variety. All right, now, how do we draw the Lewis structure of that? Well, let's uh, begin by saying we have two carbons, and each carbon has four valence electrons times two, which is equal to eight valence electrons. We have one oxygen, which has uh, six valence electrons. So that's six valence electrons. And how many hydrogens do we have? We have six hydrogens. So for each hydrogen, we have one valence electron times six, which is six valence electrons. So the total we have is 20 valence electrons. So whatever we draw, it should have the utilization of those 20 valence electrons, otherwise it's not correct. Okay, typically we know that carbon-based uh, molecules like that, um, uh, organic molecules, tend to be chain-like in structure, so it's good to assume that we're going to have a carbon and a carbon bonded together like that with a single bond. We know that carbons can form four bonds, and notice, notice how the molecule is written. This indicates that there would be three hydrogens connected to this carbon, so let's draw it like that. So there's a hydrogen here, a hydrogen there, and a hydrogen there. Notice that the second carbon has two hydrogens connected to it, and it's probably connected to this carbon right here, so we can assume that these are going to be two hydrogens like that. And finally, the OH uh, part of the molecule is attached to the second carbon, and probably like this, an oxygen over here, and notice that since oxygen has six valence electrons, it's going to form two bonds, one with the carbon and one with the hydrogen like that. And that is probably what it will look like. Now let's make sure that all the rules are followed. Notice that all four electrons are used in bonding for this carbon, and all four electrons are used for bonding in that carbon, so that looks pretty good. Notice with the hydrogens, each hydrogen can form a single bond, and it has done so, and this hydrogen has formed a single bond, and it has done so, so that looks pretty good. Finally, we have an oxygen that made a bond here and made a bond there. That takes care of four electrons. Two electrons coming from the oxygen, one coming from this carbon, and one coming from this hydrogen, which means there should be four more electrons on this oxygen. Let's put two of them over here and two of them over there. Notice that now the oxygen has the octet rule followed, and each of the carbon has the octet rule followed. So the octet rule is now complete and satisfied for all of the um, atoms in this structure. Now the last check we should have to make sure that we have a good Lewis structure for the ethanol molecule is to make sure we use the proper number of electrons. So we have two and two more, four free electrons, plus how many bonds do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bonds. Each bond will use 16 electrons, so that would be plus 16. Gives us a total of 20 electrons, and it looks like that's a proper number. So the electron structure, or the, the electrons used in this structure is the proper number. We follow the octet rule, we follow the number of electrons, and no violation and in the bonding or anything like that. So it looks like this is the Lewis structure of ethanol. So a little bit different, but at least another very good example of how to make Lewis structures using your standard rules.